Hello once again and of course we're continuing our look at mobile applications for NAS but the next couple of few videos are going to be just about Synology because there's no denying it when it comes to mobile applications there is a better quality of data handling app on Synology. QNAP have done some great things if we look at some of their apps. Some of QNAP's apps are really innovative there's no denying it like QRemote, QGET and their note making application is definitely better than Synology's but Synology have got applications like Chat, Moments, and Drive. These are very unique applications that have been made to try and rival big third-party giants like Microsoft and Synology, um, uh, Google. So today we're going to look at the Synology Moments application, and we're straight into the app here. Again, there is the login area there, and we can go to the settings, but for the most part, when you do log into the Moments application, the first thing it's done is it's scanned all the photos on your NAS, and straight away, you've got them broken down into dates. So say we break it down into months. Let's pick an arbitrary month. Let's go for April last year. Here's some pictures of my cat absolutely ruining my house. And straight away, these are all being viewed via Wi-Fi um, on my home network on the NAS. Straight away, it gives information about where the photo was taken in West Sussex. Um, on top of that, if we come out of that, we can look at other photos. This is video de detailed information as well. So again, the good thing about this app straight away is if we start looking, here's a picture of London, for example, it doesn't, it hasn't locked where it has been taken because the camera that took this did not have geotagging enabled. But there's a number of things we can do in this application that just aren't possible in DS Photo. And one of the main reasons that Synology released this application is because their DS Photo application was a little bit lacking and lacked a number of key features that are missing in modern photo handling applications. So there's the usual ones like sharing photos and there's all the usual methods here at the bottom. You can have just the link or share to a multitude of different applications and services on your mobile phone. Of course, this app is available for iOS and Android. If we go to the information section, load that up. It just tells us some basic information about the resolution and when the photo was taken. There's a download icon to download the photo directly to our local device. There we go, now that's going to download the photo, and of course the bottom right deletes the photo, which isn't something I'm going to do. And you can add it, add it to existing albums um, if we so wish. Now, it is worth mentioning that what makes Moments particularly interesting, we're going to leave to the end, the recognition side. But if we look at the application here, we've got at the top right the ability to create more albums, upload more photos directly from my mobile device. So if we upload some photos here, the photos are on my mobile phone. So if we upload um, this picture that we downloaded from a recent uh, video we did, we can upload that to the existing photo album. And now that photo is uploading directly to this. And if we switch it to the most a recent day and month, we should be able to find this in a new existing, there's our photo being uploaded there, album. And by the way, we all appreciate how cool that picture is. Now, if we go to the settings over here at more, this is where we can actually, you know, we can see information about our own account. We've got on our Synology NAS because, of course, every user on the Synology NAS, every admin, every guest user, everyone whose account you create will have their own bespoke login and bespoke file structure, if you so wish. Or you can just pull it and create a shared folder structure. Um, photo backup is something that was missing in a, you know, a very detailed sense on DS Photo. And QNAP kind of took the lead on this, the ability to back up photos and information from your local device on a synchronized manner and time managed or manually. So you can enable photo backups here. Again, choose to back up from your local device via Wi-Fi, only photos, everything that you saw on the DS Photo app, but in a much more fleshed out and detailed manner. Um, you can check out the, down, uh, the upload queue of multiple files being uploaded. And in the settings menu, you have a lot more interesting options than you had in DS Photo. Super resolution, again, being quite interesting. Um, now, um, cellular management is another interesting detail there that's missing from a lot of apps. But I will say coverage is a little spotty on that one. Um, and obviously, there's playback quality where you can change the quality you want of playback. And that's where things like transcoding comes into its head once you're dealing with large video files. Um, now, let's go to the most interesting area, the album section, because the thing that makes Moments an interesting app isn't that it just shows you photos, um, because DS Photo does that, the file manager does that, a lot of basic level NAS apps do that. But what this has is the ability um, to use deep, deep learning built into the NAS using the software. So as we've covered before, 
what this app will do, well, not so much the app, but the Synology Moments application on the NAS, will scan years, decades, if you will, of photos that you've uploaded and spot faces. And then it will ask you who these people are. And once you say who they are, it will tag every single one of those pictures with that person. So in the case of this, if we say that's me, And there we go. From that moment onwards, every single, if I search for the name Robert, it will find all of those pictures of me. What's interesting is those photos were all taken in roughly one, uh, you know, within a year or so of each other, but they're not all from the same album, so it, it was able to find them all. Now, the more astute of you may have noticed there are multiple pictures of me on here. So, say for example, we find uh, another one of me. Let's go for one there. Something, here we go. One of me with my getting caught in the wind while in Ireland. So we'll check that and we'll say that's Robert and it will merge them. And then all you have to do is go through, oh, another one of me there. Who's this? Merge with Robert. And every time I'm doing this, it's adding a big pile of new photos. Let's see if we can find another one of me. There we are, 20 photos of me on the top right. Who's this? Robert, done. But the real cool thing, thing is when you want to merge pictures of you with other people. So say for example, I want to look for pictures of me and this chap here. His name's Nick, by the way. So if we add Nick into this album here, And we find some more pictures of Nick. There's bound to be some more. Sorry for the delay. I'm not going to say that me and Nick drink a lot, but I will say we've been on the inside of a lot of pubs in the past. Let's see if we can find some more of old Nicky there, shall we? You may also have noticed it will recognise photos of everyone. It will find pictures of anyone in the background of your photos. It will do loads of these. Oh, and also, of, uh, also you can alter pictures of um, people to be the default thumbnail as well as change the names later on if you want to change surnames and such. So say for example you want to look for pictures of Robert and Nick. It will now find pictures where Nick was either in the background or events he attended. So say for example we want to look at um, select this person and we want to come up with group shots of these people. We can then add multiple users and it will cross-reference those people together to give you photos with all of those people inside. And again, that's a bit spotty, the coverage on that. But I would go as far as to say that this is still leaps ahead of what the competition are giving you at the moment. QNAP at the moment do claim to support facial recognition, but not to this same standard. Now, another great thing this app can do is places. Now, it isn't just about looking at people, but thanks to the application, you know, recognizing geotag data, if you're using a smartphone to take pictures, or in some cases to recognize things that are in the photo, the result is the different places, if you have a look here, all listed, all these different places around the UK, Europe and the world, are all listed. Now, a number of these photos were taken with a relatively dumb um, SLR camera that didn't have geotagging enabled. So it was quite nice that it was able to recognize that. And of course, that cross-reference against the time management that we saw earlier on, uh, when we are looking at all those photos by date, month, year, whatever, was quite useful indeed to get a better understanding of what we were looking at and when and where photos were being taken. Now, it's not all good, unfortunately, with Synology Moments. There is a couple of failings, I've got to say, compared with the Synology application on the DSM 6.2 user interface on your Mac or Windows machine uh, via the web browser. First and foremost, the search functionality is nowhere near as good. I've tried different search algorithms. I've looked for just food, and I'm getting nowhere. I've looked up specific food or trees, stuff like that. And on none of these occasions does it come up with any result. Whereas once you use the Synology Moments application in a desktop setting rather than mobile, it is able to find things thanks to that deeper learning and give you results based on what you're searching for. And I'm a little saddened that the mobile app doesn't um, facilitate this kind of searching. Um, it does facilitate the tag system, 
whereby you can, you know, get a bunch of photos. If we arbitrarily pick some photos here of, let's go for Surbiton. I believe that was when I moved house in Surbiton. Um, or when I saw John Richardson, look at that. Um, and what you can do is apply tags to all of these pictures if you want. And then, if you select as many photos as you want, you could do them all. But for now, let's just do a handful of pictures. Just random pictures here. And then, we can apply tags to these. And we'll create the tag Surbiton. Creates the tag. And there we have it. If we go back to the tag section, we've now got that. But that's not really anything new. That's something that's been around for quite a while. So it's something I can't really give moments much props for that. It's still great that it's got the facial recognition. And for a number of you out there that use a lot of online platforms such as Facebook that already have facial recognition, do bear in mind that this is an application on a NAS. So not cloud storage where everyone can get your photos. This is, an this is an application for a NAS, your private storage. And this is the first time I've seen this level of facial recognition on home storage that doesn't require the internet. So again, very useful indeed. Um, that's about it for Synology Moments, the mobile application. There's not really anything I can compare against with QNAP other than um, QPhoto. But again, maybe we'll do that another time. But for now, I'm going to make my way over to the Drive application. And then later on, we're going to look at the surveillance apps. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.